Hi guys, this is Liz Bryson from Cotton and Curls and I'm going to do a quick video on how to customize your Blogspot blog. A lot of people have been asking me how I kind of got the white background and how my how I played with HTML and how I got the social icons and the buttons and such to look so organized and clean and so that's what I'm going to quickly show you guys today. Keep in mind I'm not a professional. I I have only learned this stuff through, you know, trial and error and YouTube and all that stuff. So um, I hope that you guys can add on to uh, this tutorial by leaving something in the comments if you have some tips or something for me because I'd love to know and I'm sure the readers would as well. So I'm going to start off with using my old, um, my very, very first website. And you can see I have this nice white background. And I'll show you quickly how to achieve that. So you just want to go to Design, Layout, Template Designer. And the one that I found my favorite because it doesn't have, um, you know, the little shadow, shadow boxes behind the pictures or anything like this plain white one does right here. I went to Ethereal. And the one with the, like, orange, you know, leave sidebar thing. And you can do a couple things. You either go to background and you can upload your own image. And I just chose a white image. Or you go to advanced and if it has the option, you click the background and, um, to be white. And there you have it. That's it. Nice and easy. Now keep in mind your width. So this blog's width is 1140. So when you add... Um, when I added my title picture, I made sure in Photoshop that it was that exact width. And so it'll basically look exactly how you want it when you upload it to your site. As long as you uncheck the box that says shrink to size or shrink to fit or something. Now let's talk about um, your sidebar. Let me show you quickly. I did a little demo for you. This is HTML right here, an HTML gadget. So these buttons were put in with an HTML code from Flickr after I uploaded it to Flickr. You can see they're side by side and I made them whatever size I wanted to. This is when you just do pictures. They're not going to be side by side and there's going to be big gaps in between them and you don't really have size control down. So let me show you quickly how to achieve um, the HTML buttons there. So again let's go into layout and you want to add a gadget. So click the HTML gadget. Now it's time to make your buttons and this is where I used Photoshop or you know something thereof. And I quickly threw these together before I, before I made this video. I just made like a quick me button, a quick DIY. Here's like a Facebook, Instagram. So if you don't, like me, know how to make an Instagram button from scratch, I just went online and grabbed one. Then I changed the color to be a little bit of a um, lighter or darker gray or something, but you can change it to be whatever you want. So once you save all those, you're going to upload them to Flickr. So here they all are. They are all uploaded. Um... Oh, not that one. And once you have them all, you're going to grab them one by one. The uh, HTML code. Copy that. Bring it in here, and you're pasting it. So here's your Instagram button right here. Now at this point, you're going to want to insert the link. Obviously, so when they click on it, it'll go to your Instagram. So here's my Instagram right here. I'm going to copy the link, head back over here, and after where it says href, and in between this, paste. So here's the link you just pasted and replaced what it had before, because before it would go back into your Flickr. Now it's going to your Instagram, and you're going to save that. Um, well, first you're going to stick all of them in, but that's, that's what it looks like so far. Now, if you want it centered, you add this little code right here. And so when you pop over here, you can see it's centered. 
So you're going to repeat this with all of them. So I'm, I'm going to put a couple more in here so you can kind of see, get, get the idea. Um, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab the other big one. here. So when you hop on over here, you see, oh, two, two of my big buttons. And let's center them. There we go. Now they're centered. And I'm going to take some of the spaces out so they're even closer together. You know, I'm going to add one more social button for you guys so you can kind of get the idea. So remember, you got to do it on the HTML side. Okay, there we go. It's all nice and center. Let's save it. Let's check out the blog, see what it looks like. So here it is. Now, um, you can see in this one I made it even smaller, and I'll show you how to do that. So you hop back over, and you make sure it's in HTML. Find the height and the width and you can change the size. So right now it says 250 by 250 and say you know you actually want it half of that. So 100 by 100. Okay, same with the other button. You can just click rich text to see it. You can also move it up here. You can um, bring it back down, you know, Make sure that's the right one. So you can do many options. So here's this one. So you can see, look, oh, I made it. It's smaller. And let's um, put them on the same row again, just so you can see that. And all I did was just erase the center and put it back so they're, so the DIY and the me button are back to back and there's no space in between them. So there you go, there's a ton of what, uh, little tiny um, HTML basics that you can uh, apply to your sidebar to make things look much more organized and clean. I think that is actually it um, for the basics. Let me know if you guys have any more questions and I'll answer them below.